Jim just getting ready to go on the road now for the second round of the playoffs. But just a, a thought back to, to winning the first home uh, playoff game here uh, last weekend against Washington and Jefferson. Yeah, we're really excited the way our guys played. We needed to come out fast, uh, play well early, which we did, uh, building a, a good lead early on in the game and then at halftime. So, uh, again, I, I thought we played well on both sides of the ball. Uh, we've corrected a lot of things over the last several weeks, so uh, hopefully we're hitting our best football right now. We talked about both sides of the ball actually last week, just the fourth time ever we had 300 yards passing and 200 yards rushing, and that was a big part of that. Talk about uh, you know the throwing of Robbie Mady and how that passing game uh, really opened up last week. That may be the thing we're most enthusiastic about right now. I thought we threw the ball very well. Uh, we played against a good secondary, and Robbie made some great decisions. Our guys made some great catches, ran after the catch well. So there's a lot of positives coming out of that, but it needed to be done. It's a very good defense, and um, you know you can't be one-dimensional at this point in the year. When you get down to the last 16 teams in the country, you need to be able to do both things pretty well. Dan Wadica had another big game. You know, it's two playoff games here. He's had over 10 catches. Can you just talk about him and, and what he brings to the offense? He's just an outstanding player, an outstanding person. But he's a guy we need to feature in every game. Uh, we need to establish him early. Uh, he's someone who could do different things than anyone else we have. So uh, uh, it's exciting to have him this late in the season right now. As you move forward, you have you know one of the top running backs among those top 16 teams still playing uh, here in the NCAA playoffs. Uh, Jonathan Rigo is just really having a special season and, and probably a guy that has to have a special day on Saturday. Yeah, Jonathan, our offensive line will be challenged this week. We're playing the best defense in the country statistically, and watching on film, there's no doubt that that's who they are. So uh, it's been a great group. I, I think they're they're ready for the challenge. I think they're excited about the opportunity. Uh, but Jonathan brings something special. He's got great speed. Uh, he's turned himself into a real uh, every down back over the last couple of years, gaining a lot of strength. He's a good blocker uh, and knows football very well. So uh, he's he's very special to our offense. And um, yeah, we're looking for a big game at him this weekend. You mentioned the offensive line in the last few years. We've set a lot of records, but that's a group that often just doesn't get the recognition they deserve. And, and yet you have some real good ones up there, including a guy at tackle, Armand Jennifer. Yeah, the whole group's outstanding. And, uh, and really, we're only playing one senior on the offensive line right now. So it's, it's a young group that's just coming together. So again, you know, in a, in a theme, we're hoping that we're playing our best football right now at the end of the season. Our offensive line has really come together, and I think they're playing their best ball right now also. You mentioned just playing one senior on the offensive line. You flip to the other side, and that group on the other side of the line, defensive line, might be even younger, uh, but very deep and, and talented. Talk about that unit and, and, and the challenge that lies ahead for them. We rotate a bunch of guys on defense, and we'll, we'll need all of them to play this week. Uh, again, we're facing the number one team in the country. But uh, we've got some young guys up front that have played very well for us. Mike Longo's really played, done a great job the last several weeks. Joe Jotrolio is one of our bigger guys inside. But we rotate four or five players, and they're all doing a super job right now. Taking a step back further, your, your leader on defense is, uh, is Adam Schweier, one of the guys who is really a, a big part of our 9 run to the quarterfinals. Talk about that experience for him and what that will mean on Saturday. Yeah, Adam's a terrific player and a great leader, and he's so important to us in, in so many ways. He's a great special teams player, uh, but he seems to always be there with a big defensive stop, and uh, this will be a great challenge for him. I think all our guys are excited about playing the top team in the country, um, and again, I, I think when Adam was there in 2009, we made a nice run, and, and he's excited about this opportunity. Moving back to the secondary now, really the, the leader that has emerged, one of the top corners in the Centennial for sure is, is just a sophomore, Ryan Rice, and kind of the ringleader back there of a young group as well. Just talk about them and, and the challenges they'll face on Saturday. They'll have the biggest challenge. Uh, the, the, uh, Mount Union has three receivers that are very, very fast. Their whole crew is very good. And uh, again, it's, it's, a, it's a great offense. But our, our secondary will be challenged, but they've been playing better and better each week. Ryan does a great job. He's a good cover guy, and for only 150, 160 pounds, whatever he is, he'll bring it um, with contact also. So, again, those guys will be challenged, but they're playing pretty well right now. You're now in your uh, 23rd season here, and, and it's probably hard to believe it's been that long, uh, but the transformation of Hopkins football, now we're a perennial NCAA playoff team. What does that mean to you as an alum and as the head football coach here? Um, well, there'll be time for reflection at some other point, but we feel good about where our guys are right now. They're playing at a very high level year in and year out. Centennial Conference is a great conference too, so it's not an easy thing to do what we've done the last two years, um, being somewhere 19-1, and one, I think, in, in our regular season uh, record. But um, it's, it's rewarding at this point. Uh, I'm excited for our alums. I'm excited for our players. Uh, right now we're just focused on this week.